Here we are at the Tulum Archaeological Zone. Here we are at the tickets. I'm going to go that way. And here is the ticket as we make our way along the uh, entrance. Here we are at the gate. Oh, look what we found here. It's an iguana. Just along the pathway. There he is. Yeah. Okay, let's go carry on. That's a look at the... Slowly, slowly, slowly. Okay, it looks like there's another checkpoint up ahead. Witness the rise and fall of an era. Tulum. So check it out. Check this pathway out. And here we are coming into something. Not quite exactly sure what. Ah, looks like there's an entrance over here. Right there. There's another pathway that leads down here. Check that out. And here we are on the other side of that little, that little, that little rock tunnel. So you see some ruins over there. And God is over here. Yeah. Nature and society, politics, economy, and everyday life. Reflections of nature. And. There's the ruins. There we are. Let's carry on. Down this way. Quite an interesting grounds. Can't really walk on the ruins, so I got it roped off. There's a stairway to somewhere. I think that's Tulum there. It's another angle.
lots of steely. And here we are at the exit, but we, we'll, we'll go there after we're finished our tour. I think we got to go this way. Yes, we're going this way. Okay, how's it going? Doing good. This way. Très bien, les Guinéens français. Here we are at the top of the hill. Just getting ready to go into the main ruins. That looks like a little interesting area in there. That's where we just came from. And here we are on the bluffs. Lovely day. And there is the main fortification. This is a little bit further down the path. That gives you an idea what the beach looks like down there. It's a little bit of blackness in the water. I'm not sure what that is. And there is the main, I think, the main building. It's another view of the Thank you. And there's the main building. Here we are at the end of the line. Okay, I've walked back down from the top of the bluff and here's some more uh, foundations I guess for buildings that were there at, at one time and that's the path we came in on this is just like the reverse angle of the, uh, the ruins I guess 
And there would be It's a stairway into the uh, Castillo. The Temple of the Descending God Trade and Navigation A Secure Sanctuary and Trading Port Here we are continuing our way That's where we just came from, that path there. This is just a look around at the surrounding area. We're going that way. sea level. There's the bluff and the really pretty beach here. Powder white sand. Lovely day. Not too hot. Sunny. The Mayans affirmed that a sea road to Tulum will open up at a given moment and when it does, the world will change. I think that's the Temple of the Wind, but I'm not sure. And, we... and there's an iguana. back up on top of the bluff again. Here's another fortification. I think it's a temple of the wind. Here we are back up on top of the bluff. I guess we're going through that tunnel right there. See what I did? I'm sorry. <laughs> Coming out the tunnel? No. And Whatever it looks like. <laughs> Let's see.
here we are back at the entrance so we gotta go this way again to get to the exit here we are Here I am at the corner of the grounds. That looks like a small fortification there. So this will be a little bit different of an angle. Uh, we're gonna see the whole, whole grounds. And there's the main fortification there. A Castile. And I think that's the Temple of the Wind and the Descending God. And yeah, that's sort of what it what it looks like. And we're back at the at the corner. I almost stepped on an iguana. Here he is. He might run. I'm not sure. There he goes. Archaeo-astronomical viewpoint. Venus, the morning and evening star, gave Tulum ancient name of Zama Tulum. Tulum is situated on an elevation of land which you can see the passage of the sun during the day as well as admire the starry night sky. Passage of solstices and equinoxes which were major events and initially the farming season. In the capsule, all dawn following the longest night of the year, sunlight illuminates one of the tiny windows all the top of the temple of the descending god. The phenomenon occurs around December 21st during the winter solstice. An equinox is either of the two moments of the year, early spring and autumn, in which the sun is positioned just above the equator, and the height of the day and night are exactly the same. The summer solstice around June 21st is the longest day of the year. And this is... And there it is. It's really interesting. It's really interesting. It's we can talk, but I am working. I am working. Yeah. I, I finish no and I have another, another point in my job, right? Okay. I contact with me. Contact with me. All right. Okay. This is the, I guess, the west side of the property. It's a very unique location. Geologically, it's very young. It's only two million years old. Yucatan came out of the sea about two million years ago. This looks very interesting. It's a foundation of some kind. Here are stairs. Here are the stairs that go up to whatever this is. Kind of looks like a grave, but who knows what it was or what it is. The same thing over there. Walk up the stairs to like a throne or something. This is a circular area with trees and benches. I guess just a place that you can come and sit down and relax, which I think is what I'm gonna do right here. This is a look around. It's a bench there. Bench there, one there, and there, and there. We're back to where we the entrance. I guess that'd be the southwest corner. 
and over here we have the exit. 1847 Historic viewpoint, the cast war, 1847 to 1900. Google it or YouTube it to find out more information. And here we are on our way out. It goes like a stone corridor. This is the exit. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. I'm your host, Ross Caldwell.